So a little while ago now, I was sitting looking at my then current metal detecting finds display and I was thinking this thing needs a bit of an update. First of all, it was this closed off, I've still got it, this closed off um, set of boxes which I just bought from Bunnings. It was about $120 at the time, four or five years ago. Um, I've really enjoyed it, like changing around the displays and um, setting up finds into little categories since there are those small boxes. Uh, but I thought it was time to move on to something bigger and better I guess you'd say. Um, so what we've got behind me here is uh, one of the glass display cabinets from Ikea. Now this thing was about $300 so it is a bit of money but um, in my opinion it is well worth it because I am loving this thing. Now one of my favorite aspects about this thing, uh, this does seem like a very you know, gimmicky thing that I, I like about it, you can install these lights, um, there's these little holes in the top of the, in the, top of the cabinet and um, they're really easy to install and they obviously add a lot of light and just you know brighten everything up and um, add some depth. Now I went down to IKEA in Sydney for the sole reason of buying this but um, the way they've got the showroom set up I'm sure if you've been to IKEA you completely understand this you have to walk through every single staged area so every single aspect of your house basically and you know 12 different um, different themes 12 different stages yeah so it's pretty cool to walk through but um, sometimes you do spot things and you're like actually I like that as well. So I had I originally went to buy this exact one, which is once again I think about two hundred and ninety nine, three hundred and something dollars. Uh, but I saw another cabinet which I have set up over here, which is the single cabinet. Now this one's a lot um, not as premium, not as high quality make as this one. Uh, this one's very basic. It's just you know four panels of glass, and then you've got your um, these inserts on the inside where you put the glass shelving. Um, but once again it does have the option to add lighting, which I really liked. So lighting is one of your um, key things to think about when you're thinking of putting together any kind of display. If you don't have uh, the best ceiling lights or the best spotlights, you definitely wanna have inbuilt cabinetry lighting. LED lights have suddenly become a lot more available. Um, I think you can buy them from Kmart, Target, places like that for under $30, which is pretty cool. Um, so there are a lot of lighting options. You don't have to go with um, specific lighting for the cabinet you're buying or for the display you're buying. You know, there's plenty of options. You can do it yourself. Another great aspect about this particular display case is that it's lockable. Uh, it's not the best lock. You can see how small the key is there. And obviously the thing is made of glass, so it's not gonna stop people from breaking into it. But what this would be good for is if you had you know, young children or if this was gonna be in a public place, like you know, an office or um, a community library, a community museum, something like that, where it needed to be closed off for you know, the safety of the viewers and you know, to keep everything safe in there, then um, the lock does its job. But yeah, it's not a stronghold, that's for sure. So now that we've got that over and done with, um, it's all unboxed, I've put it together. Um, it's actually been here for a few months now, I've been putting off this video for quite some time. Um, now it's time to go through each shelf, why I've put what I have put there, if that makes sense, um, and uh, you know, plans for the future, and yeah, so let's get into it. So on this first shelf, I've got a bit of a mix of everything here, from gold to tokens to you know gold rings, we've got bottles, everything. Uh, these are just you know some of my favorite finds in terms of the aesthetic of the find um, rather than the historic or monetary value these are just the finds that look good so obviously they're going on the top shelf which is the first shelf you see when you walk in next we have the military shelf we've got everything from spent ammunition we've got badges buttons coins bullets uh, bottles then following down this is a bit of a mixed shelf once again we've got a little bit of jewelry over here a few of these old bottles now this is more like homewares bottles these are like uh, old fish paste and that kind of thing I uh, have got a toy car there, I don't know what that's doing there, but it is. All right, so that's my current organization for this large shelf behind me. Um, if you have got any you know, um, ideas for themes for each of the shelves, for reference, there's three glass shelves and one solid shelf at the bottom. Um, you know, let me know, I'd love to hear it. I do like moving things around and reorganizing them in a way that looks good and makes sense. So over to this display, on the top shelf, I've got just a few random things. I've got um, like a shark tooth. And then we've also got a 500 million mark note from 1923, from October, I believe. This is from, I'm sure you, most of you know about this, is from when um, Germany's economy, there was a mass inflation um, following from the war. 
and uh, we all know where that led to, but we won't get into that today. And then next to that note from 1923, we have a few patches uh, from Nazi Germany and post-war Germany. Following down from that, I had this shelf empty and I wanted something clear so the light could once again go through and reach the, um, the lower shelves. So what I've gone for this one is a few of these bottles, which I actually found in a recent video, which I'm, uh, you can find in my channel. I think it's four or five videos back. Now, the bottom shelf, I actually put this shelf together the other day because I saw that bottom solid shelf and I thought, what am I gonna put there? Um, I was thinking maybe some iron objects, like a few old horseshoes, you know, the, the regular stuff we find that's, um, you know, a cool part of industry. Uh, but what I actually decided on going with was my beach finds. Now this is that 400 plus coins, 500, however many coins it was. It's that beach hunt. Uh, that was spread across three different videos, I believe. And there's, yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in there. And now moving on over to the final display, which is the original display, those squared out cubic display. Now with this one, um, I actually only cleaned this one up the other day because it was all bare. Um, I didn't know what to put in it. I have got boxes of some of my finds. I try and keep them all organized with location, type, date I found it, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I have brought out some finds here and made a few different themed shelves once again, similar to what I've got behind me. So in this first shelf, we have some old badges, which I have in that um, DIY display. We also have some kids toys in here. Now these ones are all made of lead. We've got like lead battleships, that kind of thing. Then we've got some other things in there, some thimbles, that kind of thing. Moving across, I actually put this one together yesterday. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get some of my buckles out and I'm gonna just, you know, lay them out because buckles, you know, everyone loves buckles, they look cool. It's a buckle, pretty self-explanatory. Next one across, I've just got these two bottles in there. This one's a bit museum type thing, you know, very basic, very um, minimalist. Next one across from that, we've got some buttons, that kind of stuff, uh, interesting, I know. And then following on, we've got a, my finds from digging with KG and Ringy. That was 2016, I believe, June 2016. So four years ago now, almost five. Um, and then following on from that, we've got some more brass items. Then we've got this plate from World War II, which I put together. You may have seen that video, maybe not. And then we've got some more smaller bottles there at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm still loving this display. It's great to display, you know, larger items and groups of items because there are sectioned out. And uh, yeah, overall, it's coming together quite well, in my opinion. All right, guys, um, that was just a short video just to share some of my finds. I know a lot of you have been asking for, especially on TikTok, a lot of you have been asking for a video of my finds, my collection, my display, however you'd like to put it. Um, yeah, it is quite a common question I get. So there you go. There's my better half of my collection, let's put it that way. Um, the stuff I like to display, it does look cool. It might not be worth the most. I know a lot of people, you meet people in public, they say, oh, what's, what's the most expensive thing you found? Um, but these are the things that you know look the best, mean the most to me, um, that have the most memories behind them. I'm sure if you've been following my, my channel for a while now, you'd remember back in 2015 when I found this Rising Sun hat badge. I was extremely excited then, and um, still are. I still am very grateful to have found that because you know this is a um, a very big part of Australia's history. Anyway, so now it's time to wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy that. Hopefully, maybe got a few ideas from it or some inspiration, um, something like that. But in the end, it is um, it's something that makes me happy. May have been a five hundred dollar, four hundred dollar setup to get these displays, but um, in my opinion, it is very much worth it, and uh, I really enjoy it. And I will enjoy it into the future. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.